and this is going to be about what we feel and who we want to win. Like, yeah, like who we want to win and it, who we say that's going to win, pretty much. Maybe. Yeah. It's our prediction. It's doesn't mean it's going to happen or anything. It's just no. who we or whatever. Yeah, it's what we want. So, um, uh, the first match, well, it's not the first match, but match, uh, one of the matches is Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. Um, I want AJ Styles, and I have a feeling Daniel Bryan's going to retain it. I like both. I mean, I just don't like his new little thing he's doing. The turn heel crap. Um, I really like to see Styles win it. Not m much Daniel Bryan. He need. He, I think the power went to his head. Yeah. It went too far. He just. He just got it, and he's like far up there on the pedestal. And next, we have the S SmackDown's Women Championship. Now, this is with um. Ronda Rousey and Nia Jax. Um, Oops, I am so sorry. I read the wrong one. Yeah. I'm my bad. I meant to say Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and Asuka. I am so sorry. And a TLC match. Now, okay. Now, we already know how Charlotte and Asuka are. Alright? Because they already had a match. They already had two matches. Beck, we know how Becky and Charlotte are. They had matches. But Becky and Asuka never really had a match. Mm -mm. So, um, I would like to see Becky Lynch or Asuka win. Yeah. Not Charlotte, really. No. She had enough. Um, but who I think that's going to win, um, I'm going to have to say... I don't know. I mean, I think Becky Lynch might retain. Yeah, but everybody's been saying Oscar. Well, that's a lot of people. Yeah, but I think Becky Lynch should still keep it. Well, I mean, I mean, it's a toss up because Oscar. I mean, when she did that promo, her angles go a little better, so they might they might have her to get learn some angles, and so she got a title made. So she might win. I don't think Charlotte's gonna win though. Charlotte's being all this crazy thing. You never know. She's gonna lose and be all crazy again. Or it'll be a DQ. No, wait, there is no DQ. Duh. It's up on top. <laughs> Duh. So <laughs> you can be crazy all you want, Charlotte Flair. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that much. The SmackDown. Yep. And then the next match. You got the Raw Women's Championship. Yep. Ronda Rousey versus Nia Jax. Now, I want Nia Jax to win because she more deserves it than Ronda Rousey anyway. Yeah. Um, and I kind of think Nia Jax might win. She definitely needs to win it. Ronda Rousey does not deserve it. Yeah. She does not deserve it at all. The next, the next match is for the Intercontinental Championship, which is Burn It Down, Seth Rollins, and her ultimate fave, the Dean Ambrose, the crazy asylum lunatic. Okay, I like them both. I like them both. Oh yeah, they're both good, but I gotta go with Dean Ambrose. Yep. And I think Dean Ambrose is going to win. Oh, yeah. Yes. I am so for Dean Ambrose to win. I mean, I, I like Seth Rollins as well, but he's third on my list. <laughs> he's two um, on mine. Well, Rollins number one, so I'm hoping. Well, I'm hoping Dean wins it. You know, he needs to win it. When, when's the last time he got it? I mean, you gotta look at it. Seth and Roman get more title... Title... Defenses and stuff more than Dean ever does. Yeah. So, yeah. So we'll have to see him. Well, yep. Let's see. Next, you got Braun Strowman, get these hands. Yeah. First, ugh, Baron Corbin, GM elect, whatever that is, in a TLC match. 
Okay. Um, I'm not sure if this match is going to happen because our showman might not be 100%. It might happen. He might show up. He'll just be wrestling with one arm because his one arm is black and blue. Well, I'm pretty sure he can. But, um, anyway, but the thing is, if Strowman wins, he gets to face Brock Lesnar for the Universal title at Royal Rumble. Now. And McMahon proved his promise to he could have pick a stipulation for that too. And also, Corbin gets stripped of his interim power. Which I'm hoping. <laughs> Bye-bye, Baron Corbin. Bye-bye. But if Corbin wins, he's full-time gender manager of Raw. Ugh. And I hope Ron Strowman literally takes Baron Corbin. I, Even if it's one hand and throws him in the toilet. Yeah. I If Ron Strowman is wrestling, well, I'm so saying him and I'm saying he's going to win. Mm -hmm. Unless Baron Corbin cheats. He probably will try and cheat. Of course. Yep. Yeah. Next, we have the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. The Bar with Tartar Sauce and Baldy Cesaro versus Usos. Oh, yeah. With Flappy Frickin' Pancakes. New Day Rocks. No, New, new Day. No, New Day. I only like his favorite ones. Usos. Uh, I like only his favorite ones from the New Day. Yeah. I but, like Kingston. Um, the bar's the champion. Um, okay. I want to see the Usos win. And I think... New Days. I think New Days run down. I don't think they're going to get titles anymore. <coughs> um, I think the Usos might, they might win. They might win. Or the bar might. No, I think the Usos, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah. I'm so hoping for the Usos. Yeah. <laughs> Next match we have Finn Balor. Woohoo! Yeah. Versus Drew McIntyre. <coughs> oh, God. Um, now, I would want Finn Balor. And... I think Finn Balor's gonna win. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think he's gonna win. So totally. Bye bye, Drew McIntyre. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Of course, the next one is a ladder match with Death with Elias <laughs> versus Slashy Loser Bobby Lashley. Yeah, and this <coughs> is actually. Excuse me. This is actually. Um, gonna have a guitar up there as a ladder, and whoever retrieves that ladder first gets to use that in the match. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I know who's winning this. Elias. Oh, yeah. And I want him to win. Of course. And I hope, uh, after they're all done, they sit on the shrimp. Yeah. Boom. Bye bye, Elias. You know, uh, you, you, you know, Leo Rush is gonna probably do something in that match, though. Probably be annoying or whatever. He's probably gonna go, Lee, Lee, Lee. You know, like how retarded he is. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, that's what they should do. Come out like he's the mama. Bobby Lashley's the mama. He comes out with a little diaper and a pinky and, and his bottle, and there you go, rocking my baby. Bye bye. <laughs> Oops, don't drop the baby. Don't drop the baby. Drop the baby? Drop yeah. The baby. Drop the baby. As quoted on um, South Park, <laughs> don't kick the baby, kick the baby, kick the baby. <laughs> or don't kick, uh, it was uh, Ike, I believe. Yeah, his name Ike is. and Kyle. <laughs> bye bye, Leo Rush. Kaboom. And then we got a tables match Natalia versus Ruby Riot. Now, I. I hope Natalia wins because Ruby Riot. Is a loser? I don't like Ruby Riot. Two, Natty has to win because Ruby did something about putting Natty through the table or that. So I think Natty might win. But you gotta remember, 
Ruby Riot has two other people on her side, but you never know. Natty could be smart and have two people on her side. So, yes. So it's a little hard, but I want no matter what, I want Natalia to win. I I can't stand Ruby Riot. Yeah. I can't stand her. No. Next, we have the Viper, Randy Orton. Ugh. And we have Rey Mysterio. Boy, you can put your six Oh, nine. yeah. For a chairs match. Now, this one is very hard to choose because I like both guys. So it's kind of hard. So it'd be interesting to see how he, how they both wrestle. Yes. Um, I say I want Rey Mysterio. And I think, ooh, um, ooh. So I said, this match is a hard pick because they're both legends. They're both. I'm awesome. trying to think who's gonna win. I know it's hard. They're I can't. Both so good. That's why I said I can't. It could go pick. either way. Rey Mysterio could win, or Randy could win. You know, Randy the, Orton's a viper. Of course. Kabuya could Wait, Kabuya got six one nine. It's hard. You got a 609 or an RKO. You never know. You could do like, you know, like uh, uh, Ray, uh, Ray Mysterio does that Fox class. And Randy Orton could do an RKO. Boom. It's, it's hard because they're both awesome wrestlers. They're both amazing legends. Yeah, so. I don't really know who's going to win, but if anything, I'll say right win. I can't pick. I'm sorry. This one's a this one's a neutral match for me. I really can't. I can't. It's it's whoever wins it. I mean, I, I like both guys. They're both amazing wrestlers. So it's it's tough for me. So I'm I'm saying neutral. So whoever wins, good luck. Yep. WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Buddy Murphy versus Cedric Alexander. Now we just seen Cedric Alexander in a match. <laughs> He's really good. Oh yeah. Now, but uh, I want I would want him to win, but I have a funny feeling Buddy Murphy's not gonna retain that title. Toothpick's boyfriend, oh, of course. Like I said before, I want Craig Alexander to win because I'm not a big fan of Buddy Murphy. Yeah. Not not just because she's Alexis's girlfriend, boyfriend. Uh huh. <laughs> I gotta call my girl, but um, I can't. If anything. If, like, let's say for premise, if I had to choose between Buddy Murphy and Alexis Bliss, I would choose Alexis Bliss. She's a she's a good, better wrestler than Buddy Murphy. I mean, he's a good wrestler, but I'm not really a big fan of him. Yeah. That's why I want Credit Alexander to win. And then you have... The final match well, from the mix match. Well, we don't know how the order's going, but the mix match challenge with... What's up? With, What's up? Uh, with Carmella, of course, when she does that, whatever. Dance break! Oh, yeah. Versus Magic Carpet Ride, gender freaking Mahal, with Alicia Fox. Screamy Captain. Oh, yeah. Your ship is going down. Now, whoever wins this gets a 30 spot in the men's and women's rumble match and a paid vacation to wherever they want. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, but I want our truth and Carmella to win because I kind of like them as a duo. Our truth's funny, and Carmella is actually, I like her face. Yeah. I so, want them to win, too, because... And for some reason, I think they're going to win, too, so... Because the Magic Carpet Ride, ride does, is, is not fun. Because Alicia Fox, number 30 in the Rumble? No way. No. That's why our truth and Carmella... Hope you win. Yep. All I can say is hope to best to all the participants at TLC. Hope you all do a good match. Hope you do well in the match. And and what are your predictions? Who do you want to win at TLC? Or who you're going to think is going to win or whatnot? Let us know. We yeah. want to know. Yeah. Like, what, which one are you looking more forward to? Like, like, like say, okay, one I'm looking forward to? <laughs> we all know what she's looking forward to. I'm kind of looking forward to that one, too. But I'm also, like I said, with the Legend match, that one I'm also looking forward to with the Viper and Rey Mysterio. I'm looking forward to that one as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm also looking forward to seeing who's the Mixed Challenge Finals because I want to see who actually is in 
the Rumble 30 spot. Mm -hmm. Also, I want to see the AJ Styles match. Yeah, let's see how Daniel. Let's, see, let's do it in order that I like. All right, of course I like Dean and Seth number one. Um, I'm gonna say the SmackDown Women's Champion number two. But I'm gonna say Daniel Bryan and Styles number three. And all the other ones are on the bottom. Yeah, but I'm really looking forward to see how Braun Strowman's gonna really wrestle. I mean, after that thing that happened with him and. Um. The surgery and all that. I mean, you gotta admit, that's amazing. Coming after surgery, the bruises, and yeah. not been able... Mm, that's kind of hard because, well, he's still gonna probably be sore. I mean, that's that's a whole arm pretty much gone. I mean, he's just gonna have to try his best with one. But I'm pretty sure he can definitely get Baron Corbin this hand. Yeah, I mean, Baron Corbin's not that good. Nope. But anyway, let us know. And if you want to see more prediction videos, make sure you like Comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.